Hey y'all, Joe out here at the off-grid cabin at St. Bernard Acres. You see Creamer up there chilling on the chair. <laughs> That's what a rough life he's got. Um, this is Memorial Day. Let's not forget what this day is for. And by all means, please explain to the children what today is. What I consider our most hallowed holiday. And a day that we should... Just all be Americans and honor and celebrate and respect the greatest that America has ever had to give to the world. Um, I've heard on the news that they took some kind of college poll and, uh, you know, they want to do away with Memorial Day because it's celebrating imperialism. And it's, you, you know, I'm telling you, you can't make that up. So we have to tell our children, we have to teach our children what's right. You know, don't let the government through the schools indoctrinate them. And that's what they're doing. They're not educating them anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to get off into that. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, I'm getting ready to start breaking down, processing some pallet wood so I can get into the kitchen and the cabin. Uh, today's going to be a day of emptying it out, uh, setting some mouse uh, poison out. Yes, it's going to be mouse poison. Creamer is a barn cat now, so I don't have... Uh, a cat inside the barn, uh, cabin. He's no longer the off-grid cabin cat. He's the barn cat. So, <laughs> I'm going to set some out. And when I go back in the cabin, I got to show it to you. I got something funny to show you for when I bought the uh, poison. Oh, it's so nice out here. Way past mowing. I didn't bring the keys with me today because we've had so much rain. I didn't suspect I'd be able to mow. But sure enough, it's dry. I could have mowed. Guess that'll give me something to do tomorrow. Bring the keys out. And uh, get this place tidied up again. So it doesn't get away from us. But I've got to sort out all of my pallets, what I'm going to use, and get the cabin empty so I can bring all my tools out. This time when I do the pallet wood walls in the kitchen area, I'm not going to, you know, constantly. Before, when I did the, the inside of the cabin, the bathroom area and up in the eaves, um... I was digging through all the pallet wood I had to try to find some that was the same thickness or width, you know. Uh, this time, I'm going to be using my table saw and uh, cutting them down to width. Uh, that just took too long to sort through the pile looking for individual pieces when I could just rip some down to my table saw. I mean, not every one, but where I need to match with, I'll do it that way. But I got my pallet breaker tool out here. And we're going to start on these pallets. Got those. Um, these are primarily going to be used in the for the window trim. All of this stuff. 
because this is all rough sawn oak. Uh, and they're like three and a half, four inches wide, so they're going to be perfect. They're harder to break apart, but I got plenty of them. Um, like these. That's some good stuff. So I give you a good shot of that. Those are good ones. I got them over here. Those are awesome pallets. Then I have all of these to break down for the pallet wood walls. Let's see. Old rough cut lumber that was here when we bought the place. So I've got lumber. But yeah, that's plenty. This is gonna be perfect for trim around the windows. and the door but I've got all of this pallet wood it's kind of weathered but I can just hit them with a sander um, all of that is ready to be used <laughs> so I got plenty of wood I've got no excuse I'm not gonna run out of pallet wood that's for sure Oh boy, it's awesome out here. I just love hanging out here and making you guys these videos. Yeah, I gotta get this cleaned up some more. I think that'll be another one of tomorrow's projects. I wanna get that cleaned up enough that I can drive through this bottom part of the barn. Well, I'm not gonna get up over that, but I can drive all the way back to here with the trailer. And the last video I shot out here, my test video, I found out it was, I mean, I have a tendency and I have to apologize for like moving too fast. I don't think about that a lot of times, you know, to pan slowly. Um, but that was in HD uh, 180p, 30 frames per second. So now I've got it set for 4K, 60 frames per second, and see how that turns out. See if there's less blur when I do move. Maybe that won't make people sick <laughs> by doing the slow pans. So not only do you get to see me walking around talking, you get to see me experimenting. Let you listen to the sound of the birds and the sound of silence, <laughs> which out here can sometimes be deafening. I stopped by the dollar store on the way in I bought these I bought two different kinds not to do a test but that's all they had one of each and I'm gonna put one of these things in the loft 
and one down here on the bottom. But something uh, that blew me away when I bought them, uh, let's see if I can show you. Like I said, I don't know which one's better than the other or if one is better. See that? Each block kills up to 12 mice. How do they know that? How do they know, how does the block know when it's killed the 12th mouse? Does it turn off? <laughs> you know, uh, I just, that struck me as funny. Kill, each block kills up to 12 mice. Um, we'll see which one does it best, but they're uh, tampered. Let's see, the resistant to the weather and tampering of children and dogs. I guess cats are smarter, so they don't put cats on there. But let me get these things set up. I just thought that was funny. It knows how many mice to kill. All right. Now, this is something I've been wanting to stop and show you guys. Uh, waiting for the right day. <laughs> oh, damn. Almost fell. Um pretty pretty slick right along the side of this road um, this railroad line I mean the last I could find out it was used was in the early 80s and I imagine that they're probably around you know West Virginia southeastern Ohio Kentucky uh, tons of these old coal bridges or coal trains and uh, that have long since been abandoned but I absolutely love this little uh, trestle bridge I mean it's amazing how it's built and this thing will be here for a long time And across the street, you can see another one. Just a little bit of it left. Isn't that awesome? That truly is. That is just incredible. Going over these little creeks. But those the tracks are long gone these tracks on this side they're still here this is state route 146 in Guernsey County uh, tell there's traffic going by but yeah how awesome is this they just disappear into the woods now why that one is over there I don't know unless that's some kind of a spur line or something but uh yeah i love to follow these these are just awesome so i can get across here without falling down because <laughs> they're not in the best shape i sure don't think they'd carry a train anymore but this is just so cool. I love finding stuff like this. And if I wasn't trying to hold this camera, I would walk across this. But the old trains running across through all through Ohio, you see them.
right up around that bend is an old cemetery. So anyway, I thought you guys might like to see this. It's pretty wild. It's like a miniature trestle bridge. And just imagine how long that's going to stay there. How long that'll last. All right, the mouse traps or mouse bait is set. I won't call it the P word. <laughs> it's all set though. So when I come back uh, in a few hours, there should be a bunch of dead mice laying around maybe. And Creamer will know that he can be replaced. <laughs> I can't believe he's still just sitting there on the, on the, chair like he's somebody you still think this is your cabin huh you still think this is your cabin creamer oh boy but this is joe out here with creamer at the off-grid cabin here at st bernard acres remember to like share comment dislike do all those things uh Thank you for being subscribers. If you're not, go ahead and click that bell when you <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. And while you're at it, click that bell. Make sure you get notification when he puts up more videos. <laughs> no, you're not jumping on me. No, we did that once. <laughs> I was standing there on the porch and he jumped from the chair onto my shoulder. No claws. I mean, he didn't put out any claws. I was amazed. But uh, we're not doing that one again. But again, hope y'all have a safe weekend. Hope it's a good weekend for you. Enjoy those hamburgers and hot dogs. Uh, hope you enjoyed the races yesterday. I did. Uh, that's one of the fun things about this weekend. I always like the Coca-Cola 600. Uh, congrats to Kyle Larson. And Castro Navis, Castro, blah, 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 easy for you to say, uh, winning his fourth Indy 500. So I'd, I'd be happy if he got number five and just broke the record. I think he's awesome. He's a great driver. But again, enough wasting time. Uh, I'm going to work. I'll try to record some of it. We'll see how it works out. I'm out.